Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a delight to be here. Uh, thank you so much for this invitation today. So one of the reasons we wanted to talk about this idea of liberation is that very often liberation is a process or the seeking of freedom or the upliftment from injustice is seen as something that happens outside, as something that others are responsible for, as something that is, as I tell my students, for you, what does peace look like? What does liberation sound like? What does it mean? Because we talk about liberation, we talk about concepts as so abstract up here, outside of us. And we move away from the notion of what is our role individually in liberation. So I actually like to run things like a workshop. So what I want you to do is take a minute and think about this word liberation. And I want you to turn to your partner and explain to them, for you as a Muslim, what does that word mean? So what does the word liberation mean to you? Equal rights. Uh, you can say it to your, if you can share it with someone else. So what is the definition of liberation to you? And if you want to get up and move around, that's okay too. So, and so speak to your partner first, and then we'll come so we can share with each other. All right, does anyone want to share their definitions? For liberation, yes. Depends on what age. That's very important and profound, exactly. Uh, depending on the lifespan. A liberation for a child may be different than someone who is at a different time in their lifespan. The way we work for children's rights may have a different, the child may not have the capacity to do the work that an adult can do. Really important. So anything else? Uh, what other definitions? Yes? Gender. Gender. I also want you to see how I'm teaching. This is called a liberative pedagogy. So it means I'm not just lecturing at you. What am I asking you to do? This is part of liberation, sharing knowledge together. So gender. Say more about that. Gender. Well, there's definitely not enough um, justice for women. It seems like men get away with a lot more than and women don't have enough rights. As so participation around gender, and one of the things we can do is by, uh, by sharing knowledge of everyone in the space instead of one person being the only one who has the authority to share. So that's so gender, based on gender. What other, what other forms, what does liberation mean to you? Were you raising your hand? No. Oh, no. <laughs> any, other, any other ideas? Let's take it from the middle, yes. Well, my, my friend here said that liberation for her is just being able to speak her mind. So freedom of thought, being able to speak your mind, and I think that's really important because sometimes we can be policed for what we're saying. Very important to speak your mind. Anyone else? I think it's the voice that the journalist that are jailed now. Say it, please. The, the journalist that they can Yes. So truth, uh, not just in being able to speak your mind, but the fact that a society that has elements of liberation has journalists and free press that are able to, to uncover uh, issues around uh, oppression and corruption, that's really important. And you know, in fact, um, internationally, journalists are killed in many conflicts because they play that very role. They stand truth to power through their work. So you see, if you look at conflicts around the world where oppression is really trying to move forward against the liberation of a particular people. What else? Freedom of speech. Freedom? Freedom for your speech. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, yes, very important, yes. No, in this figure, this part, color of the this part. Yes, so racism, color, very important. What about language? 
What about liberation or freedom based on your language? Do you, uh, some societies um, and social situations will privilege one language over another. So another way to stamp out the liberation of a people or the self-determination is to extinguish their language. So keep that in mind in conflicts around the world uh, that you're aware of, as well as here. Who else? Any other definitions of liberation? Yes, sir. Uh, equal uh, political representation. Equal political representation. Do you want to say more about what you mean by that? <laughs> I don't want to divide the room, but uh, <laughs> look at the White House. Look at the state we're in. Look at how it affects the media. Look at how it affects the people who listen to the media and how it divides us. Um, and I think you point to an important concept that gets back to this sister's concept is liberation is not just at the individual level, it's at the structural level. So if the structures of a society don't represent the population of a society, then that means that uh, liberation is not just an individual liberation, but it becomes a liberation that is necessary to talk about in terms of oppression at the structural level, right? So for instance, we now talk about the notion of structural racism, not just racism where one person has a negative perspective of someone of another race, but the racism is structural and it's, there's structures that support it, structural violence, that there are structures um, that will, uh, will create not the interpersonal violence, but forms of violence that also have to be paid attention to, so mass incarceration, really good examples. So anything else, yes? Uh, my friend here said, uh, being free of worry, which I, I really loved a lot because it adds the spiritual dimension. Absolutely. You can't, can't really Absolutely. be liberated without faith. Absolutely. And you know there's an interesting critique of human rights theorists um, that were writing from one cultural or international perspective, is there was always this preference for freedom of speech, freedom of expression, but what about freedom to have a home, freedom to not be worried about your survival? So different, I think liberation is also this idea of how it's defined um, is not necessarily there's a universal declaration of human rights, but it's also contextual. Um, and you point out to, um, what about freedom to have time with your family? I mean, what if you live in a society where, you know, you don't have the, the capacity to engage with your family deeply? And I think that's beautiful about the spiritual level, because we're going to talk about one of the things that we don't have a conversation enough about is what is the unique contribution that Muslims bring to this discourse? that bring to this practice of liberation. So, uh, anyone else want to add anything? Yes, ma'am. I think in addition to expressing our rights, mm -hmm. we need to have the freedom to expand, explore, and to define our boundaries. Very important. So, one of the ways to articulate liberation is liberation from something also. Liberation in which you create boundaries in which your rights are not violated. So I think that's a really important way to talk about this. We think about gaining something, but sometimes it can also be, I don't want involvement in my life from whatever that particular uh, perspective is. Very important. Yes, sir. Well, uh, yeah, I was going to say, piggybacking on what you were saying, I think it's very important that we have a clear understanding of what we seek to be liberated from. From, yes. I'm, I'm 70, I'm an aging hippie from the 60s, and I can remember so many people who are my peers in the 60s saying religion is the problem. Get religion yes. out of your life and you will be a better person. And the truth was, it wasn't religion. What you needed to get out of your life was listening to voices within the religious tradition that were really leading you away from God and not teaching what the faith taught. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's very often people are trying to be free from something that isn't really oppressing them, that may be offering them some help if they had a right relationship with them. Mm -hmm. I think you bring up a few points, and then I'm going to go into um, sharing some of my points. One of them is the notion of often we talk about liberation from something, but what are we building towards? What is your holistic vision of society? We can often talk about a rights-based language. These are my rights, these are my rights, this is what I want.